Hi, this is Cheryl back with you from Farmhouse Frugally. Okay, what did you see out of those items that I left on my YouTube channel? Here they are, a pair of shutters, absolutely filthy. Some spindles, because you know that I absolutely love spindles. And some bed posts. I have all these things and many, many more collected in my hoard of things that I love to use. This particular bed post is what I decided to use for this project. And I took some chalked paint and I went ahead and painted with a dry brush over the entire thing, leaving very little of the brown showing through. And then I took these shutters. You may remember when my husband brought them home from the dump. And yes, I do mean the dump. I know a number of you have asked that question. What do I mean by dump? Literally, where we bring our trash, we are allowed to take off the good table anything anybody leaves. And I had in my mind that right away, these to me were angel's wings. So I dry brushed everything and then I noticed there was quite a bit of green in the shutter. So for the body of the angel, I took some green and some gray and I went and dry brushed over everything to make them match a little bit better. And then I went through the hoard of spindles looking for two arms and had to paint obviously in order to make them the same color and I used similar some of the blue with some green and some gray mixed together to get a similar blue to what I was looking for and then waiting for that to dry I asked my husband to mark where the arms would go and to help me to um, cut that hole. And then I went on to Pinterest and found a shape of angel's wings um, and tried to duplicate this beautiful picture that I got on Pinterest to um, you know, look similar to that. So I drew on that with pencil and then he was willing and wonderful enough to take the scroll saw and to cut that design for me because I am not really all that amazing with the tools. <laughs> and he is awesome. And then once we had that cut, then I took that um, back into the house, painted the edges more gr gray, and then again dry brushed some of the white and the greens back on there to make the edges look just like the rest of the angel wings. And oh my goodness, I'm already smitten. And then when the arms were dry, I took my antiquing wax and I went over that liberally with the wax, waited a minute, took a paper towel, wiped off the wax. And here you can see the difference between just painted and painted and waxed. And oh my goodness, I just love the way antiquing wax makes everything look so beautiful and so antique. And then once that was ready, we drilled a hole for the arms um, with a jigsaw and put that into the base and then added with the pieces and parts that came with the shutters we just added the shutters to the bed post to attach the wings to the body of the angel and then once that was all together we had to get a stand, so my husband had a piece of square scrap board. I painted it with the same blue. I antiqued it with the brown. And oh my goodness, I cannot even tell you how much I am in love with this angel. It came out so much better than I ever imagined. I gave her a halo with some pit berries and some greens. And this has to be my all-time favorite trash to treasure that I have ever done in all my years. I am so, so glad that I did it. I hope you like it as much as I do. And I have another bed post, so I'm looking for something else to make another one. I just need some different wings. So please give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for stopping by.